Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this Samsung Galaxy Tab A and these are sort of uh, the budget range tablets and uh, the thing is that in India uh, they are selling the 4G LTE variant. Internationally there is also a variant that has just 3G but in India they have introduced only the uh, 4G variant as of now and as you can see it comes with 16 gigs of internal storage and it has a, a 203mm screen that means it has 8 inch uh, display and here it gives us some brief info that again it has 4G and 3G support uh, it's just an 8 inch uh, screen again the screen resolution is actually not that great it's just very mediocre it has a quad core uh, processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz 2 gigs of ram a 5 megapixel front facing camera 2 megapixel rate uh, facing camera and a 4200 milliamp hour battery and this is the white color variant that we have and regarding the pricing the price quoted here on the box is 23900 uh, but this product is available in india for around 20000 but i still do feel that for that price uh, 20000 is a little bit more uh, but yeah you can have a look if you really want a tablet with 4g lte support and uh, in terms of aspect uh, it is very different from other samsung tablets uh, the aspect ratio is let me see yeah here is the tablet aspect ratio if you notice it looks like an ipad because the screen uh, uh, aspect ratio is 4 by 3 instead of 16 by 9 and these are the accessories that we get and uh, this is surprising yeah yeah we have a usb cable and uh, just a power brick nothing else uh, we get and uh, it is just a normal charger uh, at 5 volts at 1 amp so not a very fast charger i would say and we have the SAR information because uh, this has a cellular uh, SIM card and it says the SAR value is uh, 0.94 at head. So let me keep these things to the side and let's look at the device itself. So here we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab A and let me just take this out and the tablet feels uh, uh, light I would say it's not very heavy and again it looks uh, like a typical samsung product we have two touch type capacitive buttons at the bottom uh, we have a physical home button and uh, here we also have a earpiece because as i told you this is a uh, device with sim so you can make actually cellular calls and a two megapixel front facing camera it looks like ambient light sensor and on the back we have that five megapixel uh, camera but no led flash and these are for the accessories uh, for the samsung cover and uh, nothing else uh, if we move towards this side we also have a secondary uh, noise cancellation mic uh, this looks like power button again but uh, it's completely made up of plastic so feels cheap i would say to be very frank and we also have a micro sd card slot so you can put micro sd cards up to 128 gigs so that's nice and uh, you can put your sim card in this slot it supports both 4g and 3g and on this end we have nothing and on the bottom we have the microphone, uh, the micro USB slot, the 3.5 mm headphone jack and uh, we have one opening for the speaker grill. So it has having a mono speaker, nothing over here. So let's try to power this on and the battery is sealed inside which is a 4200 milliamp hour battery. So this is the first boot for this device and as i told you the screen is a uh, 8 inch screen but the screen resolution is not very high it sports uh, the screen resolution which the ipad 1 and the ipad 2 had uh, that is uh, 1024 by 768 pixels so it comes to a ppi of 160 which is certainly not that high in today's age but again samsung is touting this as a budget oriented not a high-end tablet so let me quickly just set this up and we'll continue so just uh, setting up, uh, what do you say? And we can create a Samsung account. I'll just skip all these steps. And it also prompted me to set up Google account. Uh, we'll do that later. And it's been said, let me quickly see if we have auto brightness. And yes, we have that. So let me just keep it on auto brightness. Uh, much better, I would say. And uh, again, it runs uh, TouchWiz, uh, which uh, most Samsung uh, devices are using. Uh, but let's look at the settings so we have these quick toggles over here and we also have the ultra power saving mode reading mode uh, we also have smart stay so at least you are getting those software features uh, but let's go to the setting for the settings and 
as I told you, it has dual band Wi-Fi, so that's a nice thing. And let's go to about the device. And uh, as you can see, it's running on the Android version 5.0.2, which is Lollipop. So you're getting Android Lollipop out of the box. And uh, the internal storage is 16 gigs. Uh, and out of that, uh, as you can see, we just get about 10.78 gigabytes. But you can add a micro SD card to the device. So that is okay. And uh, initial impressions, I would say, I did not notice any lag and uh, there are some apps that are installed. In fact, uh, Microsoft uh, apps like Microsoft Office is uh, installed. We have Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote. So that's pre-installed. And of course, we have uh, Google specific apps that are pre-installed. And I don't find other uh, bloatware. Yes, we do have SightSync. Uh, so if you have a Samsung, what do you say, uh, smartphone. You can control that uh, using this tablet. So we have that. I'll test how well it works. It does work on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S10.5, but let's, I'll test later on how it works. So, and we have this flipboard. I personally just hate this. It's a lag fest. So we'll disable it. So that's gone. And uh, as we are connected, let's just fire up the Chrome web browser. And in fact, it's loading the, uh, what do you say, apps fairly quickly. I won't add an account, it'll take a lot of time. So let me just skip that. And by default, it went to the Samsung's website. Let's try going to, okay. This is the default keyboard that we get. Uh, oops, one second, guys. Uh, so sorry for that uh, camera problem. Let's just unlock again. And uh, so this was the keyboard. Uh, so we have the number row. Uh, let's try going to techmimi.com. Uh, the keyboard feels responsive as of now and it has two gigs of uh, ram and as you can see let's move to the desktop side it looks nice uh, the screen looks nice uh, the color accuracy is nice the viewing angles also look decent but again it's not an amoled screen it's a normal tft screen uh, as of now it looks responsive i would say let's try read if uh, Again, as you can see, that also loaded uh, fairly fast. So it looks like in web browsing, you'll have a decent experience. Uh, again, uh, it also has a camera. I'm not a big fan of uh, tablet uh, cameras on tablet, but let's quickly have a look and let's see if we have tap to focus. Yeah, we have tap to focus. So that works. Uh, the front facing camera is a two megapixel shooter. Again, as you can see, the pictures are not that sharp, a little bit blurry. Uh, so again camera i don't think so it'll be the highlighting point so and, uh, another thing i've noticed is that uh, the home screen rotates if you change the orientation uh, so guys that's it for now for this very quick look at the samsung galaxy tab a if you have any specific questions around this device do post them in the youtube comments and do let me know in the comment section if you guys would like uh, if i should do a full in-depth review for this tablet thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video